Today, I'm going to talk about League of Legends because, well, there's very interesting discussions happening right now within the community from two main videos. So, in English, we had this video about double lift. I think that there should be more of a focus on buffing what's weak than cutting down what's strong, and that bigger but much more spaced out patches will let the game develop and feel less scrambled. A video that described what Riot Games was doing wrong and asking some questions to the developers when it comes to their thought process and where is the game going forward. And in France, where I'm from, a streamer called Narcus uh, did a long video, like a 40 minute podcast, where he basically expressed himself about why Riot Game is fucking up and why he's sad to see League of Legends going this way. If you go on YouTube and you say, League dying, League is dying, or like whatever, League of Legends is dying, you're gonna see a lot of video, and one of mine, explaining why I thought, or what other people thought, that League of Legends was gonna die. And I think it's very important to think that the gaming industry is shaped in a way that fashion and what people wanna play are consistently evolving. And whereas I think that Riot Game is in a very situation, in a very difficult situation where they're stepping on eggshells and that it's very hard to make decisions right now because you still have a niche in the game that has been here for years and years and years, but you're still trying to attract new players to make even more revenue uh, and just being able to be a valuable business. And what I want to say in this video is what if League is just not dying? League is fine, it's just that we're entering in a new era of gaming. League of Legends has been around for 10 years. 10 years for the video game to be that relevant has only been comparable to World of Warcraft. Literally, I'm pretty sure World of Warcraft uh, and League of Legends has been the only popular relevant games that have been around for so long. And it's a huge accomplishment. League of Legends, I mean, World of Warcraft has gone through extensions every year or every couple years. League of Legends has gone through hundreds of patches, changing the games, adding new, um, adding new um, champions, adding new rules, changing the jungle, changing the map, changing the objectives, changing this, this, and that. Maybe it's just a time where it's just over. Like, League of Legends is just over. It, the game is not attracting new players because the trend in gaming is Battle Royales. Fortnite is getting the biggest piece of the cake right now in the industry. And we see a lot of startups trying to follow up on their own Battle Royales with uh, uh, Realm, Realm Royale, whatever, uh, PUBG, etc, uh, etc. Et and MOBAs are not just a game that is sustainable and scalable because it requires so much time. And I think this is a big thing as well that I could do a podcast on, is that I just think that when you click on the League of Legends game and you're on for 40 minutes, this can be very tiring and it's just like people don't want to spend so much time anymore playing one game. Whereas Fortnite is super fast paced, you get in the lobby, you jump, you, you can get in the action right away at the first second. Where League of Legends, it requires some build-up, and because of the content we consume and that we want things to go fast, 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 Fortnite just really um, synergized with this uh, vibe of like going super fast, 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 fast. Uh, you die, you start again, you die, you start again, you die, you start again. There's no break, like you're always on a high, like you're literally plateauing on a very high. Where League of Legends, you go down, you farm, you get your level 6, you start to do kills, blah blah blah, then you start team fighting, you do Baron, whatever. And But this space is just too boring, and people do not come back to League of Legends anymore because of that. At least in my opinion. I just wanted to do this video, express a little bit my opinion about the situation. I agree that some content creators are really sad about what, where the path of League of Legends is going. And those who make money out of content creation, uh, those who uh, are known and popular because of this game, who have been playing for so long and making content for so long, they kind of feel disrespected by Riot Games because they're not, they're not legal. Fight, like Riot Games is not showing love to those people who've been loyal for so long, and I think it's a huge problem. So this is one of the biggest points in uh, the French uh, streamer Narcus video. Double if was talking a lot about NALCS and esports, and I just think that the growth, or like the the decline uh, of viewership in NLCS and LCS EU, and the hype that happened for MSI Rift Rivals and what's going to happen in Words, 
it's just um it's just a symptom that shows that League of Legends it just might not be as trendy anymore. And I think this is something as a community we need to accept and that we need to be able to move on and not just like beg Riot to make the game better. Because I think that all those changes, if, if Riot is like, okay, double lift, here's a white card, you can do whatever you want with League of Legends, just tell us and we'll do it, or any content creator out there, it's just not going to make the game better. Riot Games employees are really smart, they're not stupid, they've been doing this for 10 freaking years, it is so impressive. And I also think that Riot Games is working on other games, and they just don't want to spend too much energy on League of Legends, thinking that it will probably die or just fade away in a few years. So be smart, think about it, and do not forget that there's an S at Riot Games, and I think a new game is coming pretty soon. So let me know what you think in the comment down below. Uh, I'm very interested in hearing your opinion when it comes to this discussion. I don't want to clickbait and say, oh, is League dying? Oh, is League going to die? I think it's just the end of an era, and we should embrace it. We should look back at those 10 years thinking it was a great game, and we had great entertainment with it. But sometimes, yeah, we just have to let things go. And as much as I love World of Warcraft, as much as I love League of Legends, I think it's really cool to have uh, episodic ways in gaming and the trends and what people want to play. I sincerely hope Riot Games is working on another game, and I cannot wait to see what they do because they're so good. They're just so good. Their devs, their team, their, their, their like the way they communicate, the way they tease things, and the way they work is really respectable. And they have everything to prove, guys. Riot Games is one game. World of Warcraft is so many games. So. Can you believe the potential that Riot Games has with all their teams of developers, of game designers, of product managers, of this, this, and that? I'm sure, I'm sure they're cooking something up. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll be reading your comments in the in the section down below. I'll see you for the next video. Cheers. Okay, no mistakes, but I'm burning out. 21, will I make it out? 18, we would talk a lot at that coffee shop where I met you at. Fast forward to the good times, I strayed away. For the past two years, I thought I had to please others, thought I had to be something, but I had to be myself. This my life song.